all right let's design a database schema so for this appointment booking system the main entity will be users which comes by default in Laravel so users table where we'll be storing doctors and patients so we will have doctors table and also patient table then we'll have appointments table then specialization or we can call it departments specialization so in users table we will have a user type field uh, which will be storing like which will be enum field options with patients and doctor so whether it is patient or doctor they will log in um, their login credential will be stored inside the users table and these two tables will have one to one relationship with users one to one relationship with the users and in patient will be storing uh, more columns like um, uh, like DOB their gender and calculate age or DOB whatever so the, here we'll be storing like additional information regarding patient and similarly in for doctors will be a specialization ID their bio so other information uh, regarding doctor in if in future we decide to store uh, further information will be storing here and of course we'll have uh, foreign ID user ID similarly here as well we will have user ID which will link to the users and of course in specialization in which um, area they are specialized in whether it is urology cardiology will be storing here inside specializations table and appointment um, obviously will be storing the date of appointment with which doctor for which patient doctor id patient id appointment date so possible status can be pending confirmed also the reason for booking appointment we can make this nullable so for uh, schedules table we'll obviously have uh, doctors doctor id available from and available to so from what time to what time like um, from like 10 a.m to 2 a.m this will be time and here we'll have a day of week so day of week will obviously have uh, fields from monday to friday with the name of specialization talking about relationship we will have one to one doctor and schedule one to many and appointment one patient has many appointments can have many appointments and one doctor can have many appointments all right so one to many so if you want to uh, create a relationship between patient and doctor via this appointments table then it will be the many to many and this will act as pivot table one specialization for one specialization there can be many doctor but one doctor can only belong to one specialization so one doctor belongs to so i think uh, this will uh, this is it uh, this is all about the database design so i have quickly sketched out you can sketch out in your uh, notebook first uh, there are other tools to properly design a database if you choose to use those tools then i would recommend you um, do that in draw.io from here you can choose like entity relationship diagram create so here you can define relationship 
for simple case and quick case i will just use this um, so this is totally fine now let's uh, go over and create a migration file for this schema and uh, also we have to start a project from scratch let's do that so i am inside a folder and i have a laravel installer install so i will say laravel new i will call it doc book for doc uh, doctor booking so you can choose a starter kit from here or you can choose no star uh, starter key kit so since i'm uh, developing api i will choose laravel bridge and there is other option if you hit down arrow key there is api only if you choose here so i will choose api only let's use best yes i would like to initialize a git repo so i'm perfectly fine using sqlite okay application is ready let's cd into dogbook let's uh, open it on php storm or you can use vs code all right now it's time to generate models migrations and other files like controllers required for our application so here in a plain text file first i will write down commands and i will execute all at once so what i will be uh, needing is make model first i will create a patient or oh, let's first create a specialization we'll need a migration and controller and request object policy First, let's check out what are the options available for us php artisan make model help dash dash policy for policy dash dash policy dash dash api so it will generate migration controller request object and api resource controller now let's duplicate this for other we'll need patient doctor appointments schedule for now i guess uh, one two three four yeah i think we are good with this patient and then doctor point uh, then schedules schedule and appointment so these are the name of model and it will generate appropriate policies class policy and other stuff so for specialization we won't need policies now let's go ahead and run this in terminal it should generate all at once great I will get rid of this file now if we see we have 29 files generated inside these with model you can see we have few controllers as well which are all resourceful controller with index so update and delete all good okay so now let's go and define the migration files for each let's start with uh first thing first in users table we will need uh enum field for storing user type so i will quickly put that just below password there we go so we will be running uh migrate fresh and then it should work so by default uh, i can make it patient all right so you see there is problem with uh, creating all command at once it generated same timestamp for that all right i just renamed the file name just put it five so that it comes up and seven one seven so it goes down all right all good now let's uh, continue adding up uh, fields to the specialization first in specialization we only need one field which is the name field there we go and let's go to doctors in doctors we will have 
like three fields I'll quickly add those I have already written that on a separate file just to make things faster so these will be two foreign keys to user and specialize and since we are following the naming convention we don't need to specify which table to look into now let's go to patient uh, in patient we will need uh, three columns as well one is user ID of, of course and then date of birth and gender now let's uh, go to schedules for schedules we will need the schedules belongs to doctors for doctor first we need doctor ID available from to and then day of week yeah, so for each week they will specify from which day to which time so it, there will be multiple entry for each of these days and I think this is fine for now now let's move to appointments so obviously in appointments we need both patient and doctor IDs like so appointment date status of appointment and then so we might need this pending and confirmed in case there are multiple users signing up or something went wrong if we want to process that on queue the queue will make it completed yeah for now we can just uh, make it make things simple pending completed or cancelled we'll just put these three yeah so this completes our migration uh, let's go ahead and run so PHP artisan migrate this time we need to fresh and we don't have any seater yeah so we have all tables in place we can see that in our database SQLite file we can see these let's refresh those yeah so we got schedules patients perfect 